Welcome to my new channel. It's not about motorcycles, it's about living with an electric vehicle. And I've had some things installed by the electrician over there recently, but before I talk about that, I want to show you what happened yesterday. As you can see, we've had a tree come down. We've had very stormy weather the last couple of days. Hopefully not too much damage. I think uh, if the weather improves today, we might um, get up there with a chainsaw. The power also went out for the whole neighborhood. However, there's something that I had installed recently, which made a big difference. Okay, back in the garage again. And as you can see up here, I've had a 15 amp outlet installed recently by an electrician and that's for my 15 amp portable charger but I'll talk more about that in another video in this video I want to talk about this it's a, an inlet it's a little bit like a caravan plug and the reason why I got that was because my vehicle the BYD Atto 3 has vehicle to load and with vehicle to load you can power devices in case of a blackout, for example. Unlock the car, pop this open, take out that one, put in the vehicle to load adapter, and now you can lock the car again, and the car can remain off, the vehicle to load will still function. Okay, got the power board for it with that comes with a vehicle to load adapter. I've just plugged it in a short extension plug that into the inlet for the house and again that's on a separate it's not connected to the grid at all it's completely separate but it means you can power things in the house now so i can still hear the thunder around a little bit um, it's been very stormy the last couple of days and yesterday very windy even this morning it was very windy a lot of trees have come down um, last night the power was out for about eight hours um, like the emergency services were just so busy that they couldn't get around to um, restoring the neighborhood's power for probably about eight hours but the electrician when they were here I got them to install the um, off-grid cable that comes through to the kitchen this one above is uh, connected to the grid, but in the event of a power outage or if you want to use the power in the evenings when you don't have solar energy, you can plug into this one. So I've got um, all the kitchen devices here. If you want to boil the kettle, you can just plug that in, switch it on, boil the kettle. Um, I've got the air fryer over there. If you use the kettle and the air fryer at the same time, that's not enough <laughs> to handle that. They'll, they'll switch off if you try to overload um, but it's fine. I, I, I sometimes run my TV and the kettle at the same time. All good. <coughs> the fridge, perfectly fine. But those, you know, high power heating things like the kettle, air fryer, um, only use one at a time. So just another benefit of owning an electric vehicle. Uh, not all electric vehicles have vehicle to load. Um, Teslas do not. Although I did see recently that the new Tesla Cybertruck does have vehicle to load. Although I'm not too sure whether we'll ever get to see that one in Australia. Um, but most of the manufacturers are including vehicle to load. And for me, that was a, a big selling point of the car. But um, yeah, I hope, you, um, hope this was informative. And if you want to see more videos about electric vehicles or specifically the Atto 3, um, stay tuned, subscribe.